hello 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 my name is Vic of use market biz and in this video I am going to share with you or I will um, show you the updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news okay so without further ado let's begin so this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year okay so this is just $15 guys and you can use cryptocurrency as your payment for the subscription here at this website as well so this is very very nice right so I'm going to share with you the newsletter so here it is so this was this was the newsletter or this is the newsletter that was received by the subscribers some hours ago okay so as you can see all right and I'm going to share with you the contents of this newsletter right so let's start from the top okay so the first thing that you're going to see once you open it because this you will receive this newsletter in your email are the three I mean the two uh, news updates okay so these are the news updates so the first one is cryptocurrencies will survive and gain wider acceptance says alliance chief economic advisor so mohammed l aryan chief economic advisor of alliance told the new york consensus conference yesterday that cryptocurrencies are here to stay his positive outlook comes despite the prolonged slump that has blighted markets all year institutions establishing a foothold so in fact L. Arian thinks that recent meltdown was a predictable part of the cycle and even healthy for the market. The increased demand for crypto, which pushed Bitcoin prices towards $20,000 in turn, spurred an oversupply, resulting in the current sell off. Despite the slump, which has been retail investors, uh, which has seen retail investors grow more cautious and even abandon the platform interest from institutional investors is growing the participation of institutions in large crypto projects is a positive sign so we are seeing a rotation going on retail is becoming more reasonable if you like the exuberance is behind us and institutions are starting to establish a foothold and that's good long term so this is him l Arian. so ecosystem so l Arian disclosed that he had opened a Bitcoin account with $400 for the purpose of testing the platform. He concluded that there is a place for Bitcoin, $4,211.66, uh, negative 0.02%, and crypto. And it will see wider adoption, but not as a usurper. I think cryptocurrencies will exist. They will become more and more widespread but they will be part of an ecosystem. They will not be dominant as some of the early adopters believed them to be, he said. So that is the first um, news update. So this is very good news. Cryptocurrencies will survive, right? So the next one is this one. So Goldman, Morgan Stanley go live with CLS, IBM powered blockchain. So CLS, the bank owned Currency trading utility and IBM have gone live with their blockchain based payment netting service after more than two years in development. Investment banking giants Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are the first companies to use the newly launched CLS net. With six more participants from North America, Europe, and Asia, including Bank of China, committed to joining in the next, next few months, according to two CLS and IBM. Ram Komaraju, Managing Director for Technology at CLS, told Coindesk the system is up and running insane. We have matched and confirmed the first transactions and successfully issued a netting report to the group counterparties. Along with the food, food tracking blockchain IBM Food Trust launched in October and the trade finance platform we trade, which we went live in late June, CLS Net is a third blockchain consortium powered by IBM Tech to go into production this year. As such, it's one of the few major enterprise distributed ledger technology or DLT projects of any stripe. 
to get this far. With the CLS Net now in production with two of the world's largest banks for a major market function, it is a testament to the ongoing maturity of blockchain technology and the value that it can deliver in practice, said Marie Wake, general manager at IBM Blockchain, in a press release. The launch of ZLSNet, she said, represents the first post-trade production deployment of blockchain technology in a global market utility. So filling the gaps. So though um, not a household name, CLS provides critical plumbing to the foreign exchange or forex markets. Founded in 2002, it mitigates settlement risk for participating banks with the payment versus payment service, in which both sides of a trade are completed to the, at the same time. But its new platform aims to solve current issues in the forex market, such as lack of standardization and automation. For example, a limited number of participants currently not trades with each other on a regular basis and even when they do, often, there is a need to manage the process manually according to IBM and CLS. In addition, many participants do not net the payments for forex trades, instead settling on a gross basis which exposes them to settlement risk and leads to higher intraday liquidity demands, the company said. CLS Nets will deliver the standardization and automation needed for non-CLS settled, settled transactions, said Adam Josephart, Managing Director of the Fixed Income Division of Morgan Stanley. Barry Lowe, General Manager for the Bank-Wide Operation Department of Bank of China, or Hong Kong, um, added the, that CLS Net is particular, in particular will enhance operational efficiency in trade matching and payment netting for non-CLS salad currencies such as CNH, the offshore version of China's renminbi, and strengthen our risk management. Um, the now live CLS networks for over 120 tiny fiat currencies and is designed to standardize and increase the level of payment netting in the foreign exchange market. It was developed in collaboration with buy-side buy and sell-side institutions. At the same time, the platform supports compliance with the code of conduct for the foreign exchange markets that CLS helped to develop, the company stated. A standardized and automated payment netting process will lead to improved intraday liquidity, reduced cost, um, improved operational efficiencies and ultimately support business growth, said Alan Marquardt, Chief Strategy and Development Officer at CLS. Okay, so um, that was the second headline or update on the news today. Right, so let's move on. So this one is the, uh, the invitation to the Telegram group. So once you subscribe at PreferredCurrency.News, you will once you receive this newsletter, also you will have this link. And all you have to do is just click that one so that you can join their Telegram group, okay? And below that are Don the Guru. So Don the Guru is the publisher of this newsletter. And this is his research list. And these are the um, top coins of the day. So these are 0x, BitBay, Cardano, Dogecoin, Komodo, Bitcoin, Yust, Stellar, Dabcoin, and Tron. Right, so below that is a button which says Open Spreadsheet. So this is exactly um, Donald Gore's research list. So as you can see, this are uh, this is full of information. So most are, I mean, this information is the technical analysis of all the coins, right? So as stated here in cell A1, stay away from the, the red ones that are shaded because they have uh, they are showing the best and the, the, the negative news. And you should um, include the blue ones with, uh, in your portfolio or in your research list because they are showing the best news, just like this one, Bitcoin, right? So here it is. There, these are the information. So as you can see, it's very, very informative. And since this one is just view only, you can edit that one by following the instructions just below the button, right? So that you can add notes and you can filter right so aside from that um, there's also another information or another lists 
of the to different tokens or points that have high volume change with interesting technical price action, the high weekly trade volume, and the high research activity. See? And also, if you want to become uh, an affiliate so that you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep, you can just click this picture here or just go directly to the website and click affiliate at the upper right corner of the website. Okay? So, also um, here um, are upcoming EOS airdrops, right? So, here is the first one. So, Tuk Tuk is a platform. Here it is. Um, is a platform to lightly flip emotional expressions and share them. It is a creative communications platform in which my mass adoption can occur as a blockchain ecosystem and services available to many ordinary users. Okay, so this is the first airdrop. So it's a snowdrop. Uh, the name of their airdrop is snowdrop. See? Okay, and the next one, uh, which is nearing its um, deadline is Cadios. So the drop time will be on December 20. So this is very very urgent guys. You only have um, less than a month to register or to claim this um, airdrop so that you can claim it. Right, so those are the updates on this newsletter. Okay, guys. So if you um, if you're fond of listening to podcasts and watch videos, um, to keep up with the latest uh, latest being published for EOS, join this Telegram group, right? So EOS podcast and videos. Okay. So if you also want to join Initiative Q, you can use my invitation link below at the description, and also. Um, if you want to get rewarded in crypto, download Lumius.io in your favorite app store or in Google Play Store. Okay, so here it is. Uh, the list on the latest are the latest and upcoming EOS airdrops. So EOS drops at IO. Okay, and also, guys, if you are um, wondering where you can find um, different links so that you can use. Especially if you're an EOS holder, visit eusmarket.biz or https um, colon slash slash eusmarket.biz. See? So these are different links. So these two are uh, marketplace websites wherein you can uh, exchange, um, buy and sell different items using cryptocurrencies. This one is a uh, new a travel website where you can exchange your EOS for effort tickets and of course preferred currency news and of course PCN today so where we got the where they got their news updates okay so guys I think that's it so before I go I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys, this has been Vic um, once again, bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies and bringing you the updates on the newsletter today. Okay, so uh, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.